And back we are. Still threatening. What is our diplomat doing anyway? Let's reduce the threat. We have someone better suited. Our commander. Okay, we might die. Let's check our succession. Will be him. Who has pretty much nothing going for him. Ah, it's fine. We might be wounded or die. We, we have led a decent life so far. Actually, let's, let's roleplay this. We're shy. We wouldn't call for help. We're brave. We don't call for help. And we're proud. We're definitely not going to call for help. So we're going to be just fine. And we were. Great. Need to go into the options and turn off context sensitive music and turn it down a little bit. Because we're having the same songs over and over from the newest music DLC. It's not bad, but it's also not as great as I had hoped for. Pro tip on this, generally you can find previews of the music DLC on YouTube. I checked only one song and I liked it. The rest is too vocal heavy for me. The background music in Crusader Kings is generally more topical. Oh, we have a non-aggression pack with them, that's good. So they're not going to do anything about us. How many troops do you have? None so much personally, but you got a bunch from who's around you. We're not terribly bad in this way, but we're also not absolutely great. I should speed this up. The distances are great. Oh, there they go. Absorbed into Kazaria. I think we have positioned us well enough to prevent any land absorption anytime soon. We've grown quickly enough. That's important. I would like this for myself. I think. But first, we go raid everything. Oh, who do you want to marry? Sure. Being a feudal lord around the horse lords is just not great. <laughs> oh, she's the wife of my dear commander. Inappropriate, this man. The period of unrest in China has come to an end and the surviving militant peasants have returned to till their fields. Things are returning to normal and the middle kingdom seems stable. That's good. Let's see, pay tribute. We do not have enough prestige. And they're isolationists, so we can't do anything about them anyway. Right now. Right. We will need to interact with them eventually. I oh, know, the alarm is broken down. Shame, we never went and used it. You, my diviner. Okay, yeah, that would give us a non-aggression pact, I believe. Ah. Right. Let's take everything we can. More sheep. Let's get some more tax income. Mm. 
Nomad Tax. Right there with that one city we got. I think we've taken everything. Are you at war? Yes, you are. A bit of a shame. Oh no, I think... Nope. The commander survived our dog's vicious attack. What are you fighting over? I want... I want to make you a tributary straight state. Well, we want to take this. We don't care if you are their tributary. So if you go in pillaging as a looter, you can't take their stuff. Not possible. And while they're at war with someone you're not at war with, you can't really do anything about their ongoing war. So we're just going to have to wait here until this war is done so we can take everything. So... I think our war just ended. Nope, it didn't. But we have to move our troops anyway to reset so they can start on sieging. A little bit wonky that way, but that's fine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, we can... Put a marshal. Ugh. These are all so good. And he loves us. Hmm. But I'd like him to move the other troops. Let's put this guy. He's okay. We don't really need him. But... We have a commander seat for my dear grandson. Oof. I've been studying the art of mounted combat. I don't think we have. So he shall lead now. And this guy goes on the flank. Child legs focus. All military. Everyone is going to be military in this. Oh look who was absorbed. Did happen after. Oh wait, 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 wait. Kazaria? Are you still a tributary? Right. That's fine. Just fine. What are you fighting over, my guy? Can I offer to join his war? Son was born to my grandson. Kinsman. Very good. Find someone of an appropriate age. That is also somewhat decent. And there we run out of options. Oh well. We're here to take land. Actually, there's no defenders left on any of these. So this is a quick one. Or would you like to sue for peace? Oh, sure, you can have it. Okay, we can help our friend a little bit by going and raiding him so that they turn hostile and then we just crush them. That is how you do it. And we definitely want to keep this land because it has so much grazing going on. But first we need to pillage everything. And our clans do not require us to give up some land, so that's nice. I have uh, learned pretty early on that it doesn't matter. Honestly, it does not matter whether or not you have your land sitting around where you need it to. Because you don't need it connected as a, as a horse lord. You can have it spread out all over. It does not matter. It really doesn't. It does not make a single difference. 
we could make this our capital which would be actually quite good because we have four military advances here we have four seven and twelve so that's a lot more than we actually got uh at home so i suppose that's how you upgrade really you move around i think that might be the major idea i've never actually put any thought into that but it makes sense let's put our capital in here can't do it for another 120. This doesn't matter anymore. Plus we're a little bit safer here too. Let's get our counselors doing their counseling back where they Oh, I just put him down. Okay. But if we look at our technology now, we have quite a bunch more going on for us. Than we did before. And that's really nice. I think. We have less cavalry and everything. I think. Yeah. That's an issue. A little bit. But everything else. Certainly helps us. So let's check if we unlocked anything cool. Okay. Burkir need to pay us more. Taxes. That's what we need. Can't really do anything about this. Anymore. All kind of fine. Where am I going? Ah, right, right, right. I'm going to... Siege there. Those are not really interesting options. What did you just become? Why did you switch? You became a vassal of this. My counselors did not think it wise. Okay, we can't pillage here because they're not of a different religion. We could attack these guys. Ooh, more grazing lands. Even better creation here. Hmm. How many troops does he have? Nothing. So let's do it. Yeah, we have too many holdings, but we're going to lose them anyway. We might actually go ahead and instead of turning these cities into grazing land and pillaging them, we might turn these into vassals or own. So let's see. Can't give him a title. I'll give her a title. Give her son a title. Let's see. We can find some people who are content, I'm sure. We look for someone who is... Oh, no. We set all the filters. And in our realm, we want someone who is content and not too old. And a man. I don't think I can give this... Oh. Well, he could still be my commander. So he can have a city. And be my commander. Ooh. My stuttering has disappeared. I'm no longer shy. See what you can do in your old age. Just stop believing. Excellent. So, I didn't think quickly enough of not destroying the city so the city is kind of weak right now both of them are actually weak so we're going to pillage this to the ground 
And on the next thing we con conquer, we are going to be a little bit smarter about it. Ah, uh, stop raiding. Ah, okay, you can do this too, I didn't know. So, you turn it off, you tell them to leave, you cancel that move, and immediately you take everything. Let's go take some more stuff of theirs. Six months, so we can put it. Honestly, let's build this up. And also build this one up. I have a few cities. It's a, it's a decent investment, I'm sure. Okay, we can't have a fishing village because we're not close to the sea anymore. So that's that's something to keep in mind. I think... Hmm, what should we have? Horse breeder, oxen wagon. We are far off of, far off. Don't need that yet. Let's go for a felt crafter. No, stay out of my council woman. But we of course will check if everyone who should have a council position actually has, has one. Does look like it. But I'm not entirely sure. I think we need to defeat his army at least once. Kind of all over the place. Can we get this? I hope he's just pillaging. Oh yeah. Going away, good. Oh. Young Asli. No interesting alliances. Or rather non-aggression pacts. But let us focus her onto war. Yes. Have our daughter. Brave. There he's back. Trying to re-siege. We finish our siege and then we take him down. Which should win the war. I am quite certain. Right, what did we get? Timar of Ashkar, that's a castle. We don't need castles. Shall pillage this. So, <laughs> if you actually read what it says on the pillaging, then you wouldn't be as confused as I was or am. The pillaging occurs every six months. That's why it takes until everything is taken out. That's how the pillaging. Re learning something new or rather relearning things we definitely just. So the Uyghur just grew and fell apart because there's a revolt going. So these guys. Oops, dear. Thousand. Can't we get more troops by now? Oh, yes, we can. And we should get more religious space troops. Need to spread this out a little bit, and we got more well, prestige. We get the most of some gold. Let's get some more prestige. These are not the greatest, no. Gold-based troops, best. Some heavy cavalry too. Be amazing. Zero zero nine. Those become really expensive when they have to reinforce, though. That is something to keep in mind. Those become real expensive. They need to be in for it. But they're probably really quite a good addition to what we got. Let's splurge a little bit. Find our forces here. 
You don't gain all that much piety, so I want to go for this. This. Something new to take. These usually kind of get thrown under the bus back here. Don't get all that many choices. So let's take them. Subjugation isn't really interesting. Established tributary. I mean, we could do that. <laughs> Down there in the description you can see some Trigger Clan title. It's an old game. Not everything is ironed out yet. So maybe it's not the worst idea to have tributaries going on. I mean, these don't earn much. But just having some permanent tributaries. How many troops can you bring? That's not Tibet. Where is the capital of Tibet? Yeah. 5,000. That's, that's a little bit large for us. 800. Your income. Only invasions open to us. But yeah, maybe it's not the worst idea to have permanent tributaries. How much gold do you earn? Too little. That's why we also have kind of a permanent border going on. And this will forever stay unless... Wait. This type of tributary can be called to war. Huh. Interesting. We do have borders to Tibet. I'm just considering our options for the future. They do earn a little bit and they do have some troops. They're worthless to us. Maybe they could grow a little. Definitely not these guys. These guys are gonna get absorbed. These guys. A little bit of income. How much do you get? No, let's go take their lands. Go take that. We need more land to grow. And we can always look. Establish territory somewhere. Yeah. You're pretty feisty. Council position. Definitely missing one of our clan chiefs here. Yeah. Is there a child in charge of a clan? Oh. Yeah. The child in charge of a clan. Okay. Us? Ain't all that much. Turn on heat a little bit. Make sure our son is leading the siege. So we actually get the siege benefits. Sit on our hands. Oh no. Our courtier doesn't like us because our dog killed their dog. Yeah, definitely a big oops. 
We'll build the clan gathering hall because I feel as we grow, it'll be quite important to ensure that we have the greatest amount of this city fine. Yeah. Have a new vassal here. That's great. Check our income. City tax. Too much yet. But it'll pick up. As time progresses. And they also don't count. In our limits we can have as many as we want of these. Just paying. Us. Which is good. Don't have a designated region. Doesn't have my son. He's level. Should be this guy who's also a good leader. Oh man. Some really good people out. And son. This guy. And this looks well and fine. Ah, yes. The looting of this will continue a little bit longer. Have we waged war against these guys? We have. It's weird that our truces don't show up on the guys we have truces with. Always kind of throw. We could eat our way through here, or we just take this piece so we get it bordered on here. And have more options in where to attack and what. Or we just loot the hell out of this. I am very reluctant to take on Kazaria. But we might take on these guys now. They have 1,500. We have a wee bit more. It. They are sadly. Oh yeah, no, no, no. They are of a different religious group, so we can antagonize them and loot those. We can prepare our attack on them. What happened to our children anyway? Is she still a concubine? No, that wasn't her. No. All our daughters have been returned to their rightful daughterly places. Hey, let's go worship the ancestors. We need conquering enemies. Our book is still being written, I suppose. And we will gladly offer this soul, gods. May the ancestors' blessing be upon me. We're attacking against 1,500 troops, for which we're going to put our center leader in the center, our inspiring leader on the side, which might also be off flank. Oh no, it should be fine. We still do not call for help. Because we are still brave. Proud. Oh. Got out of this again. Very good. So again, we're attacking against 1,500 here. We have some heavy cavalry, which he doesn't have. We have... Few more horse archers. Everything else is pretty equal. And we have done... Oh, no, we can't pillage them. Why not? They are of a different religion. Odd. Why not? 
There's a thousand. Clans want more land. Can I give them individual? No, I have to give the whole thing. Righty. But we were prepared for that eventuality. We're going to give him this. Which is called... Kuzbulak. I'll have this because it's worthless to us anyway. So, apparently... Not turning everything into grazing land also helps us maintain larger holdings, which is pretty nice, I think. Marriage. Okay, I really want to wage war against these. Oh, we're... We're in a non-aggression path. Okay. Eh, uh, right. War against these, then. Damn it. I could attack him directly. But he has 4,000 allied troops. It's a bit too much. We could attack the Abbasid, who have a few more troops than us. Or just a few more. can't attack him, I don't think. Well, we can, but we don't really get anything out of it. We turn him into a tributary. Hmm. I'm reluctant to go too far for our wars. A little bit reluctant. Where does one go? Oh, he looks fancy. He has... Oh, yes, he has the falcon with the eagle on his shoulder. I like those. Those are fun. Good port. There. He's a marauder. Ah, that's great. Okay, this went on for quite some while. I think I cut it off here. Um, as you can see, it, it, it's becoming difficult to figure out where to go. The obvious choice is this guy here. Ultan Jibril the Gauti. And of course, expanding further east along borders to Tibet. Well, we'll see where we go. <laughs>